Hello guys and welcome to my channel. In this video, I want to show you another uh, new functionality in Wish Morpher, which allows us to export selections to texture masks, right? So uh, let's get started. Uh, we want to create a selection here and uh, for this we will open any morph target. We can create a blank one or use an existing one. And uh, we need to open a tool and toggle selection, right? So I'm going to make a selection here just like that and uh, uh, now we can go ahead and export this to a uh, texture mask and uh, by, uh, to do that we have to go to edit selection and export mask selection to texture here we have another dialog opening uh, which uh, lists uh, uh, the sections uh, the mesh sections uh, if uh, you want all sections to be exported you just uh, Keep everything unselected if we want specific sections you select uh, them from this list right so uh, we can uh, select the resolution for our texture we can go ahead with uh, uh, 2k 4k and 8, 8k and uh, uv index uh, samples per pixels you want this uh, usually just let it be and the uh, uv offset uh, for our meta humans uh, the uv coordinates start at uh, 1 one to uh, one on the x axis and the uh, zero on y and we need to offset this right and we need to offset them on uh only for meta human body right so we need to uh offset this on the x axis by minus one and export uh just press save and now we have our uh texture here right so uh, we have green channel and red channel red is uh, uh, everything unselected right and green is selected uh, if you export with invert mask here then uh, they will be uh, or, uh, inverted right so let's uh, let's see how this works uh, let's open the meta human let's open the material And we want to display only our selection in our case here and uh, we will use the green channel right so let's uh, uh, get the blend mode to mask and uh, let's uh, connect the uh, green channel to opacity mask and let's apply and uh, this is uh, our masking if uh, we turn uh, the light on we will see these dots here uh, to uh, get rid of this uh, you need to uh, go to settings here and uh, let's search for uh, dither opacity mask this is what you have to deselect and uh, let's press apply again and now everything is gone right so uh we can do the same for the head uh let's uh get uh, something here as well let's create a new morph target uh, let's toggle selection let's do some selection here only with the face just do a test here with the face And now we can export this to our uh, to a new texture, right? To a new texture mask. For the head, we won't have to offset because uh, the head the UV coordinates start at zero, so we don't have to do anything. And we press OK. And as you can see, all uh, our mesh sections are exported because I didn't make any selection here. It's fine. Save selected. And uh, now let's open the face material and uh, let's load the, this, uh, uh, this uh, texture here. Uh, 
Okay, let's go to body. Let's do the same thing. We change the blend mode to mask and uh, we load our texture here. Texture sample. And uh, let's uh, plug uh, the green channel into opacity mask and uh, let's click apply and now our face uh, is only uh, made of our selection right in order for this uh, export uh, to function correctly uh, you can't have overlapped uvs uh, uv islands uh, the uh, uvs have to be properly created Otherwise, uh, you will have problems, right? So I think uh, this is it for this video, guys. Uh, thank you for watching. Uh, hit the like if you like uh, the video. Hit the dislike if you don't like the video. And uh, see you around. Bye.